lovely. So I have my smile back. It's really, really, really difficult to talk with, but um, it feels a lot better. So I don't know. I was debating whether to show you guys this or not, but like I didn't know what to expect, so I was really scared. So I'm just going to show you. Um, this tooth right here is the one that I got. It's, uh, it's called a flipper from like toddlers and sierras like, it's like they lose a tooth or their teeth aren't that nice they get these like little clicking flipper things so I didn't know what it was going to actually look like though because I just have one tooth missing but I went in today to my oral surgeon who he's so freaking awesome um he just always makes me feel so much better like I get in crazy places like I talked about before and he's always like straight as an arrow like you're healing well or we need to get that tooth out of there or whatever it is and so you know I talked to you guys yesterday about appointment anxiety and so I just called him up today and I was like hey is there any way that I could come in and get my flipper and mainly I wanted him to just look at it and say you're healing well um well the two things I wanted to ask him were if I was healing well and if I could stop taking my antibiotic because I, I don't know if this happens to anybody else guys but antibiotics make me so sick like not like how I was so like when I had to go to the emergency room but like I can't get out of bed I can't do anything if I like sit up for half an hour it makes me th want to throw up like it's so bad and I have to keep something in my stomach at all times and like that's not that's not the life I live um so I went in they said everything looked great um you know all my swelling's gone down like I just have like right now I think pretty much it's like all gone I just have like a little bit of swelling down here but other than that I am like back to my regular face which is grand with me I want my regular face um but this is temporary and I went in and asked him a couple different options because I didn't really know what there was because I've never lost a tooth before. Um, so I've had bonds before because this tooth that they took out actually was a really bad tooth like from when I first got it. And they think that it was because of um, when I was younger my asthma was even worse than it is now and they think that it... Um, all the like steroids and asthma medication I take um, put a like it dented in the middle of this tooth like a hole and then on each side of these teeth there are like little dimples like like lines on each side I don't even know if I can really explain it well but so I've always had to have those like filled in and stuff and that was a huge part of why I decided to get a four tooth done because um this tooth was already bad but then when I got veneers I got wrapped around veneers and I don't know what they did but they did not do it correctly and um I had such bad pain um like I went to work I mm, I, I didn't I went to work either the next day or the day after that and it hurt when I walked it hurt when I breathed and that's like that's not normal because veneers don't even I mean they don't really do anything to the tooth but um they ended up taking too much of my gum up too um because they were doing it like cosmetically to make them look similar <sighs> so I was so stupid and naive but anyways um so then I started having pain shooting in my teeth and I've since had to have three of the four teeth that I've had done have root canals and um, also I've had to have this tooth redone, I've had it done three times because when I got caps on all four teeth the, this one was black underneath like black spotted and it smelled so gross it was like rotting Ugh, so gross and um it was showing through the gray thing 
I'm wondering if I like had that in one of my vlogs. If they if I did that this year or not. I can't remember. But um so I wasn't too sad to see it go. I just was a little scared about further surgeries and um it healing and all that kind of stuff. And then the other issue is the bone loss that I have up here. It's about dime size hole in my well, this is my skull. And um so when I went in today I asked him of what were my options like could I get a bridge or like is an implant better and he like definitely was like yeah you need to do an implant and he said with a bridge you're gonna have to cut into the other two teeth and I said well they're my other two teeth are fake so like I wouldn't really care if they cut into them but I guess to get a bridge I would have to get the caps taken off it adjusted and then I would have to get caps put on because they don't do my oral surgeon doesn't do like cosmetic teeth they don't do caps and like all that kind of stuff so I would have to be going to like a different dentist I don't know anyone here so <sighs> so he said an implant and I was like thinking because I really just want my mouth to heal up and like feel better and like get through the holidays and like you know just be good for a little while but he said the sooner the better because I guess I don't know why but he said that um the longer I let it go the more bone deterioration I'll have I don't know if it has to do with like that space being empty or um the tooth moving around or what have you but um but I guess for so pretty soon I'm gonna be in a world of hurt again because I'm gonna get a tooth implant and I have to have that for three months before I can get the actual like tooth put on so I'll have this for probably four months in um, and it's actually more comfortable for me mm, it's more comfortable for me to like talk and eat without it in but it feels better on my lip it's really weird how much like your lips matter to like how your face feels because <clears throat> when it's not in it makes my my it makes my lip feel numb right here because it's like not against a tooth but um yeah so I guess I'll have to go and get the dental implant and possibly a bone graft where um, I have the bone loss and I have no idea how much that all is gonna cost but they're gonna call and like give us an evaluation for it it's just gonna cost a freaking a lot of money when I've already had so much done to my teeth. Um, but yeah, I'm just glad to be like back, feeling better. Oh, so I wanted to show you guys. Um, okay, so this is like my full smile. And you can notice I have it back almost fully. It's a little hard on the side, it like starts to shake a little bit, but I have my full smile and <laughs> It's like a retainer in there, and then to take it out, I just put my. This is so embarrassing. Okay, I take my finger on the tip of the tooth, and just pull down, and there is the empty teeth. Um, this, I just feel like such an old person with this because it's seriously, it just looks like a denture to me. But, um, this looks like this. It's like, I have a really tiny mouth, in case you're wondering why this looks like a miniature thing. And then there's just the tooth attached to it. It's a little bit more yellow than my other teeth, but... And then the back is just smooth. It looks like a bat, like a Batman sign. And then to put it in, I just put the teeth up, and then I just click it in. So it was like way less scary than I thought it was going to be and my nurse told me to go home and read a magazine out loud to get used to talking with it in and I was like, um, 
I talk to my people on YouTube. <laughs> um, so, yeah, so it went really well. So I didn't have to worry about an, an appointment or anything. And I was feeling really sick today. I was like, I do not want to have to take an antibiotic today because I couldn't settle my stomach down even with, like, my anti-nausea stuff. So, um, but then, like, after we got back, I slept. Like, I started watching a Christmas movie with my mom, and then I fell asleep. I think I fell asleep in the living room, which is really weird for me. And then I came back and slept here. Um, but, yeah. So, that was my dental experience today. Um... So I can like take pictures, but she was like, you can eat with it in. I was like eating french fries and I was just eating ice cream and like everything I eat goes like straight under this, that thing. Cause it's not against my, the roof of my mouth. So yeah, it just goes like straight back there. So I don't like eating with it in and it's like a lot of pressure on my teeth too. Kind of feels like when you get like your retainer or you put your retainer on. Or like you get your braces tightened. Like it feels like that. So I'm like, is this going to make my tooth really sore? Because I am not about like upsetting my mouth right now. But uh, yeah, so that was like pretty much my whole experience today. And I didn't have to worry too much because like I, I just dropped in and it was a short little visit. And so I was really happy and <sighs> I'm still exhausted and... I'm still healing and everything, but I think that it's coming to an end, which is oh, amazing. Because I've already been here for oh, like 16, 17 days, and it feels like I've literally been here for like an hour. And I don't know. I don't know how you guys are, if you guys get like this, but like once I like, I, there's been several times that I've come here to Florida and like, like, there was one time I came here and I was in bed for three months. And I flared the whole time. And the last time I was here, I had a great time. Like, I was up. I was, like, watering things. I was um, doing all that refurbishing. But earlier this year, if you saw some of my vlogs, I did, like, some refurbishing and the patio. And, like, we, I was, like, all over the place. And um, I think, like, once I get, like, in a funk I kind of like it kind of makes me stay there and I don't know if it's like psychological or like my fibro flares because I go through like the 12 hour drive or horrific oral emergency or what have you but yeah I just like I'm having a really hard time getting into the Christmas spirit this year because of what just happened to me and then um it just seems like everybody's getting bad news and it's making me really sad i just found out that um one of my best friend's dogs just died just she just died like si she just turned six on um sunday and she was happy, playing, jumping, everything, and then done. Like, that's so sad and scary. And, like, oh, my gosh. Like, it's just so awful. And, um, and my best friend just lost her grandfather right before that. And it's, like, uh, you know, every text I'm like I don't want to look at my phone anymore like I do because I want to be there for my friends and pray for them and but I really like when I get up I'm like I don't want to look at my phone like it just seems like every time I look at my phone it's bad news and like I don't know I honestly like my mom came in today or something today or yesterday I, I think this is today she was asking me about my Christmas list and I was like mom like I don't want anything for Christmas like I honestly don't like talk to me for a month now and I probably be like I wish I got this for Christmas but like right now I am like at my limit of like stimulation like I just want everyone to be happy and healthy on that on Christmas and like that is it like I just want there to be peace and um 
but I'm trying to get into spirit because, you know, it's, it's hard on my parents then because then it really becomes a hassle for them and then usually I'm the one that's like, let's do this, let's do that, let's decorate this and like they haven't decorated the Christmas tree like we usually do that at the beginning of the year. My mom always decorates the Christmas tree but for some reason since I decorated it last year here, she thinks that I decorate the Christmas tree now. <laughs> Like, it's a tradition, and I don't, so I think when, my, my dad can't sleep right now, but I think when he goes to sleep, I'm going to go and try to decorate the Christmas tree, because, um, it's just, it's up, and it's just, like, sitting there, and it's really sad, and I can't even, I could go on for, like, another hour. It is just really sad here, like, usually it's like very exciting and happy and um getting things done even though last year we came when i thought my grandfather was dying well we all thought he was dying doctors included um and but just being here and being able to like hold his hand and pray over him and like my mom being able to talk to hospice nurse and like all those types of things it just was such a relief and um and then he slowly but surely started getting better and better and better and um but now it's just like my grandfather wants to die he he just does i don't know he's 92 years old i, I don't know he just doesn't want to be alive anymore and that's really hard for my mom and my grandmother has completely lost it she has i mean her dementia is like over the top so it's not even really her anymore and we get, keep getting all the sad news about our friends and family and um then this emergency happens the second we step here and um you know my mom had to take care of all of that i don't remember anything um and then our neighbor across the street he they're just in such a bad situation and his wife deals with chronic pain and chronic mental illness and um he has emphysema emphysema or lung cancer or both i don't know but he cannot breathe and so he wants to die and it's like holy crap and he comes over to talk to my mom because for some reason he thinks because she was a chemist he she would know like what he could take to kill himself and it's just like people like this is so sad um i'm just starting now to deal with it because obviously they didn't tell us a lot of it my dog percy is having a really hard time walking one of her legs is hurting her and it's so tough because like this happened with our other dog too because they kind of like go in and out of like oh yeah we need to put them down they're not they're in a lot of pain and then like the next day they're like i'm all better and it's just like ah oh, like this is a big decision like we need to be like this is the right decision and um i mean i don't want to i love percy but like i don't want her to be in pain and you know just suffering but she's eating still and things like that so it's just kind of like it's a worrisome thing and we took her to the vet here and we don't really have, I guess we do have a vet here actually um and they gave her stuff and I don't know it's just it just seems like when it rains it pours and like the expression of like bad news travels in threes this is like 30s like it's really bad but um I'm hoping now that I'm feeling a little better I can stop taking my antibiotics so I can get into the spirit a little bit more. Um, I got my sister sent me a Christmas card. So that just brightened my day up. And um, she just knows me so well. And um, she said try not to stress out and worry. Um, which is like exactly what I needed to see. And I think it gave me kind of the strength to call my oral surgeon today. And say like hey do you think you can get me in for my slipper today? And they did. They got me in like two hours later so I want to rip this thing out of my mouth um yeah so I don't know Merry Christmas <laughs>
But I think after this one, I think I'm like, you know, I've got a lot of my worries are answered and I'm feeling a lot better. And um, I am going into a flare. Perfect timing. But um, at least I'm not like super sick and stuff like that. So, um, so I'm hoping that they're going to be more positive and more alert and alive. And But who knows? We never know what will happen. But I just wanted to show you guys my smile. Um, that was like one of the hugest things like because we're talking about because my smile is so big. <laughs> like most people, they're just like the mind smoke shows like almost all the way up to the gums and all the way down here. So, ugh. but I love my smile, so I'm really glad to have it back, even if it's just temporary. But um, yeah, I think it's like less stressful for. My parents will look at me and not see like a huge gap there too. So, um, it's as much for them as it's for me. So, and maybe for you guys, it'll make you guys feel better to see me not with the big hole in my mouth. I had told my mom it had to be the biggest tooth in my mouth too. <laughs> like this tooth is so big. Um, but anyway, I hope we got some paper research for your day. I'm sending out X double O's. And as always, I will talk to you guys tomorrow. Thank you so much for all your love and support. And in the comments down below, let me know what you are most excited about for Christmas. Whether it's like the cookies or the candy or presents or whatever it is. I don't want to give you guys too many ideas, so don't steal my ideas. Um, my favorite thing is going to be, um, if I can go to church Christmas Eve and also just being, feeling okay and not feeling like I have to throw up. <laughs> That's my Christmas wish. Um, so in the comments down below, let me know what you guys look forward to this Christmas and, um, I love you guys and talk to you guys tomorrow.